Since I painted that lightsaber hilt, I've been quite keen to paint or build something else. But I had no projects, nothing I could start. Then one morning, I really couldn't ignore the urge. It was like the drums in Jumanji. Screw it, let's make something. As I had nothing, I just started grabbing anything I could use. No plan, no idea what I was gonna do. Check the drawers. The bins. Yep, take that, that looks good. Yep, and that. Great, and I'll take that too. Got the table ready, and then started putting out my very limited amount of paints, which I bought to paint the lightsaber hill a few weeks back. There they are, not many at all. And then I was ready, ready to make something. This polystyrene box tickled me fancy. I looked at it before and thought it could make a good doorway or something, like a mini diorama background thing. So I got to work and started making a door out of an Amazon cardboard box. Other cardboard boxes are available. Stuck some bits together, making it up as I went along, primed it, and then started painting it. While that dried, I started painting the polystyrene box. I'd already painted it black. Uh, the paint didn't stay on too well, so I'd be careful when touching it. I mixed the copper with the Turbo Dork Red Rum paints and just started touching it up along the way. I want the whole thing to look really dirty, old and run down. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. I'd started making a wall to go alongside the doorway, but quickly realised that was very naive of me to think I could easily do that when I have no idea of what I'm doing. So I decided to focus on the doorway. The next shot, the doorway looks a little different, but it's all just paint. I was being very long winded about painting the door. I wanted it to look more rusty. I went too fast sometimes, I had to redo it silver again and then paint over that again. I basically just started drying the brush off and gently touching up the doors as I went along to last satisfied. I suddenly realised what was missing and started stabbing the door with a pen. Blast the holes! A bit more to the story now. I stuck two little bits of card together, stuck a random plug chain on it I'd found in the drawer, I mean I think it was a plug chain, and that became the sign. Much like everything else painted on here, I was just touching it up as I went along. I wasn't entirely happy with how the sign turned out, but I can always repaint it another time. A lot of touching up later, it's nearly there. I raided the drawers again and stuck some bits on, a couple of wall plugs there, this wooden stick thing I grabbed earlier, I'm not even sure what it's for, spearing fish fingers maybe, I don't know, there's a few of them so I doubt anyone will miss them. They're going to be pipes or whatever they are. There's sticks on the wall there. I'm obviously not a model maker. I watched no videos or did any research here as you can tell. I just like sitting down and seeing what happens. It's a lot of fun. So I guess that's done. I'm pretty happy with it. It sits really nicely in my desk between my books like a makeshift low, 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 low budget book nook or something. Uh, I did a few test shots in my figures. Size wise, the Black Series Jawa sits and looks great in it. And that's how it sits on my desk. Full size Black Series figures are a little bit too big to stand in there, but they look pretty good in front of it. Uh, the 3.75 figures suit it much better. If I want to make it look different, I can just make a different door for it, a different sign, really change it up. I'm looking out for more of those polystyrene boxes because I can make another one or line them up like a street. Anyway, it was a lot of fun. It was great for me. I'm really pleased that it came out, especially as I made it up on the fly. And I'm looking forward to uh, getting some more shots of it and then seeing what I can try next time. <laughs>